Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for Leo. How are you guys, Leo? Hope you guys are well this week. Let's see what's happening. This is the general reading, any aspect of your life. Look at how it best resonates for you. Leo, what does Leo need to know? Leo. Leo. Wants to come out. Oh, I see somebody here in a hurry. Very passionate, confident, charismatic, restless. <laughs> yeah, some you got someone here is a little restless. This could be a Sag, Aries, or Leo. This could be yourself or another person. This is about trusting yourself, your decisions. It's about going forward. Uh, very confident, something that you're passionate about. Uh, I do see an opportunity, but this is a page. This is someone a little sensitive here. Uh, there could be some kind of an invitation coming your way here. Someone heading towards you. They may get some kind of an invitation or communication. Ooh, I see some kind of victory here. Oh my goodness, yeah, there's definitely a Sag energy. Doesn't mean they're a Sagittarius, because I'm seeing Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So don't look too much at the signs. This is really an energy read. So this is about planning for success preparing for success and a victory so this is really really nice energy yeah someone here is going to offer you something they want to have success i feel they're a little restless yeah there's some of you could be getting a promotion an award for something as well yeah let's see leo what does leo need to know about this overall energy does Leo need to know about this overall energy? Clarity, please, for Leo. Does Leo need to know? Uh, so it's a life path. Ooh, that wants to come out. There we go. Yeah, you got someone heading your way. Some of you may have moved away from something. You're taking lessons learned, moving forward to calmer waters, taking those lessons with you. This is to do with a life path, a choice. So some of you, I feel like it's a person here. Somebody who wants to approach you. Okay, they may be moving away from something. That's an energy of leaving the past behind, avoiding a disaster. Yeah, coming forward here. Lessons learned. There we go. Ah, there you are. Yeah, look at that. You're looking. This could be yourself, Leo. This could be an Aries, Leo, or Sag, too. Like I say, take it how it resonates. This is someone who knows exactly what they want, not afraid to go for it. So there could be something about slowing down here, some kind of lesson just telling you to look at from the past. It's about choosing, making a choice, a life path, or choosing between two people, two situations. You can see the world here. So this, I feel this is definitely to do with a life path and making a choice that's right for you, knowing what you want, not settling. Yeah. It's not you, it's another person. And energy, don't look at the genders. <laughs> Oops, there we go. Oh yeah, Wheel of Fortune. A cycle ending. So there's a cycle ending. So some of you have learned to slow down, be patient, or it's a person coming towards you. It could be someone who wants to approach you. Okay, a little anxious, impatient, someone who wants to rush in, but they're very focused, very focused about this passionate energy, very confident. Cycle ending. This is someone who wants things to go in their favor. So this could be an energy where something didn't go in your favor, or this person's, and they're moving away. So cycle over, wheel of fortune. Very good. Could be something financial as well, a life path, a choice. Leo. Yeah, you got someone coming towards you here, offering you something. Oh, yeah, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Wheel of Fortune. Somebody very financially stable, grounded, very sensible and practical. It's a person who likes to prepare for the future financially. So there is a little energy of someone a little sensitive, open-hearted, possibly a little inexperienced. <laughs> It's interesting. Some people are so focused on their money. You know, this is a person who plans their whole life out ahead financially before they think about relationships or commitments. So sometimes they're very good at that. It goes in their favor, but a little, you know, sensitive about their love life. But I do feel like there's an opportunity. Someone's going to offer you something here. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. A little cancer energy. This is a person planning for success. They want to have success. They're controlling their emotions. So they're just offering one little cup. Oh, no, they're not super emotionally invested, but they're very passionate about this energy. And this is someone who could be seeing you that way, you know, approaching you, seeing you as very strong, very confident, very passionate. 
Yeah, so I see success and victory here. See, this is a person here who, I feel like this is a person who's trying to control something, you see. Uh, their emotions, very much, they're not, this is someone who is not ruled by their emotions. Oh yeah, I'm coming in to offer you. This is an opportunity, could be, hey, do you wanna go for a cup of coffee? You know, wanna get together and talk. And it has to do with planning, uh, something successful. I see a victory, wise choices here too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so there is some kind of indecision. So there's a little indecision here. Could be yourself. Could be this person about whether something will go in their favor. This is someone here who, you know, is failing to see, failing to recognize success. You see, you're thinking of, of this could be a false victory. They may not get what they want. So they're coming in with that energy of controlling their emotions, not letting them rule them. Because uh, there is a decision that needs to be made. But it, like I say, it's a person who sometimes um, doesn't see what's right in front of them, that something could be successful. You see, a little shy, a little apprehensive. They're going to offer it anyway. Yeah, this is someone who's kind of holding back, protecting themselves, protecting their money. You know, this is an energy of someone who's kind of holding back, possibly wanting to approach, um, you know, watching you from a distance. So this is someone who's holding on to something. If some of you have a situation with someone who rushes in, rushes out, it's on and off, you're more than likely, if you have cancer in your chart, you're more than likely going to move away from this person. But you do have another opportunity. So it could be you in this energy, you know, failing to recognize. But make sure you take off the rose-colored glasses, okay, to see. Because you see the moon, there's a little confusion, things that are hidden, things that are unknown. Uh, it's an energy of being stuck. If you have someone who's keeping you stuck, keeping you single, I can see an energy of freeing yourself and moving on. But I think you got a person who wants to have success. Yeah, we got three cards of victory and success. I see a yes. I see truth. Uh, beautiful energy. Yeah, this is about planning for success, preparing for it. Uh, some kind of a victory. Yeah, you may have someone here who failed to recognize. Could, well, like I say, it could be you, you know, making a choice here, a life path possibly between two. It could be anything, relocation, moving, uh, ending a cycle, wanting things to go in your favor. You may not be able to see something. So it's like I say, it could be even be yourself, but I feel like it's connected to this King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or just somebody who's very sensible about their money and finances. This is a person who, you know, is not ruled by their emotions. Yeah, see, not ruled by their emotions, a little bit of fear. Yeah, see, this is someone who's a little apprehensive here, but I feel, you know, whether it'll be successful, someone who may have failed to recognize something could be successful. But then I see this, yes, this victory. Ah, someone's going to, someone's going to make a decision here. Yeah, wow. It's about whether something will go in their favor. Yeah, so I do see an energy of the lovers. So this could be a love situation. Uh, see, this is this choice. Someone's moving away from someone to avoid a disaster, a life path. I feel like it could be yourself, Leo, leaving something behind. It could be a Gemini, but it doesn't have to be. It really could be anyone. I definitely see air energy, though. Some of that definitely could be your own. Yeah, see, this is a lack of reciprocity, equal give and take. There's someone here, you see, thanks, but no thanks, not interested. You know what you want, you're not settling. I feel like it's yourself, you're out of here, okay? But as you're moving away from something, I feel like you have someone coming in because I see two. Uh, someone wanting to reach out, you know, maybe not sure you'll reciprocate okay definitely related to this this is an energy of someone reaching out but i do feel it's an energy of someone who's not reciprocating and i feel like it's going to be yourself queen of wands yeah there you are yeah see very much in protective mode you're protecting yourself uh, distancing yourself from someone i do feel like you're focused on something here you know saving money very driven, very ambitious. So you're you're definitely in that energy. Anyone who comes towards you and they keep you stuck, keep you single, you're out of here. Okay, I don't think you're going to sit around and be waiting for anyone, because you're. It's an energy of you know, protecting yourself. This is about balance in your life too. Very focused and very driven. Yeah, wheel of fortune energy. You got some good stuff going on here for yourself. Now, as far as any anybody else that's around you, it's hard to say at this point here, but I do see this King of Pentacles in the middle, someone wanting to reach out. 
I think you got a person who's holding back, kind of watching you from a distance, wanting to approach you. Oh yeah, there we go. See, like you're moving away from someone or somebody else, they could be moving away from someone else and coming towards you. Very passionate, very driven. But I do see an energy of on and off. Somebody who rushes in, rushes out, not really sure what they want, you see. A little fear. Some of you may be thinking there's a third party situation. But sometimes this is love. This is someone who's controlling their emotions. So we're going to dig into that a little. The Three of Swords always looks like fear, third party, you know. But a lot of times it's an energy of someone who's controlling their emotions, not wanting to lose control out of fear. So it's a, some sort of a choice here, I feel. King of Pentacles. Who is this? Yeah, somebody very financially stable, grounded. It's a house and home. It's a reason to celebrate. So there's some, I feel there's something to do with love. Someone is a little afraid to reach out. I feel like you're unapproachable. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, they want to approach you. Okay, but it's like you're focused on something else. Maybe no longer. Yeah, see, there it is. There is that energy. Someone failed to recognize. Teamwork, cooperation, compromise. Failed to see the compatibility. It's an energy of going down that path. This is acknowledging something. This is about acknowledging uh, the things that you have in common. About two people coming together to build. Okay, to build each other up. This is two people building, you see. You look at that. See, someone's stuck. Someone's keeping themselves stuck, keeping themselves single or protecting themselves. Got a person here who's seeing. They're having an aha moment. Why something wasn't successful, okay? Because of this lack of cooperation. And this is someone who failed to see and acknowledge the compatibility, the teamwork, the cooperation, the creativity. And that's your energy. Very creative. Wow. Oh, yeah. Someone made a decision out of fear. They were controlling their emotions too much and lost control. See, someone was out of control because you know, they were trying to not be emotionally invested. But I feel like they are <laughs> or will. Tell me about that four of pentacles. Yeah. So someone who needs to take that pentacle off, you see, you got three of pentacles, four of pentacles. You take that off the head, no longer stuck. Then you have going down that path, teamwork, cooperation. See, someone's having an aha moment. This is that truth. Uh, something could have been successful if someone wasn't controlling or made a decision based on fear. Yeah, see, it's about building. This is two people building each other up, building something. So it's the energy of someone perfecting their craft, working very hard, going down that path. I see you working very, very hard, very creative. So you're, you're going to, I feel like you've got something uh, going for yourself that has nothing to do with this person as well. Ace of Swords. There we go. Oh, yeah. You have an Emperor. This could be an Aries, a Taurus. Could be anyone. An Emperor. Okay. This is someone who knows exactly what they want. Very hardworking. Uh, someone is seeing uh, truth, seeing success. Very hardworking. I feel like whatever it is you're, you're after, there's something successful that you're planning for. Uh, saving money for possibly, you're going to get some kind of a yes. Okay. From an Emperor energy. So someone coming in and seeing the truth. Wow, this is, oh yeah, this could happen suddenly, see, this is an energy of something happening suddenly, an epiphany, someone suddenly having that realization um, that something could have been successful, where maybe it wasn't in the past, so, yeah, you got a person here who, you know, they're looking at this truth, this success, this aha moment that they're having, and it has to do with ideas as well, someone has some kind of an idea to build, so it could be someone wanting to come towards you to build something. Another person who's creative, an emperor. It could be a boss. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Someone's, look at that. See, you got a person here who uh, is, is kind of like, wow, okay? They want to build. They see you as marriage material or someone very stable, practical, sensible, hardworking. You're driven. You're focused on the future. You're focused on success. You're successful, okay? And I feel like this is, this could even be yourself, okay? Uh, very much could be yourself. Queen of Pentacles is someone who enjoys the creature comforts of home, very comfortable, sensible, very grounded, very practical, uh, making plans. See, this is about preparing for the future. Oh, yeah. I see success and victory here. Whatever it is you're focused on to do with money, success, uh, teaming up, working, something creative. It could be working in a team setting as well. Building, okay? Perfecting the craft. Working very, very hard. It has to do with work ethic. Something being acknowledged. So, 
Whew. If you don't get a yes from somebody of the job, okay, um, or you feel that they're not putting in their effort, you will end it. I can see that energy and you will go off and keep planning for success. But I feel like you've got a victory coming your way here. Yeah, I think you're going to get a yes of some kind here, whatever that means to you. Tell me about this Knight of Wands energy. Oh, yeah. Someone taking action. This is an energy of someone taking action, fighting for what they want. Now, there could be competition, conflict, ob obstacles to overcome, but I see that, that ending and things going. See, someone is seeing that something could actually go in their favor. They're coming in to fight for what they want. Like I say, it could be you or this other person. I actually feel, I do see Sag uh, and Aries energy here as well. I see a lot of Mars energy, that fighting spirit. See, keeping your eye on the prize, focused on success. If something isn't successful, it's next. Not wasting any time here. <laughs> Page of Cups. Ah, uh, yes. You got someone here. So I do see a possible Taurus Virgo energy. That's just an energy of someone very sensible, someone single, someone who's very protective of themselves, someone enjoying the fruits of their labor, making plans for the future. You got a person I think is a little afraid that you're not single. They may be reaching out to you, asking you if you are. Okay, but I do see it because it's in the center. I see two single people possibly here. You're looking out for yourself, though. I can see it. Taking care of yourself, looking good. Someone's checking you out to see if you're successful, grounded. Someone who's making plans for the future. See, look at that. Oh, yeah. There's definitely uh, a love situation. I don't see a lot of emotion here yet, though. Oh, until now. That's what you want. Success, emotional fulfillment, happiness. You got your eye on the prize. You're planning something. Someone actually sees you this way. And I do see this energy of very hard working. Now, this is yourself. It's work ethic. Something being acknowledged. All this hard work. I see a yes and a victory. Whatever it is, you got happiness coming your way here. Now, if it has either to do with this person, could be a job, could be a house, a home, something financial. This could be a boss who's like, wow, look at that work ethic. Someone is definitely checking you out, okay? It's about approaching. They're not so sure you'll reciprocate because I do see a person who's really focused on money, marriage, commitment, a strong financial foundation. I feel there's something to do with work ethic. But I do see that chariot energy, success. A little fear someone isn't successful or a fear someone isn't single or it won't be successful. See, it's someone, i actually going to tell you, even though this is a person who generally uh, is not ruled by their emotions, I actually feel like somebody is here. Okay, so it's a little contradictory, but that's what I'm feeling because of the way this card came out. Tell me about this Nine of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. See, a little fear you won't be single. Fear of a third party, possibly. You may be invested in someone else and not single. You may actually be in a relationship. Uh, but it could to do have a lot to do with just a financial foundation. But this is a celebration. Someone is going to invite you somewhere. And I feel they're a little cautious. A little afraid you're not single. That's what I feel, okay? Or it won't be successful. They won't get what they want. It won't go in their favor. So something may not have gone in someone's favor because they rushed in too quick. If you've had a relationship or a situationship with someone that's been on and off and on and off, this is a person who... Um, tries to not be ruled by their emotions, but they are, because there's some kind of fear here. So I'm going to just dig into that. I want. I think it's a fear that you won't be single, or you're not single. Uh, they're kind of, you know, trying, oh yeah, see, it's about investing. So it's energy of investing, waiting patiently for the right time. So it could be to do with timing, to do with someone not putting all their eggs in one basket. So like I say, it could be yourself, protecting yourself. You may have someone where there's a lot of obstacles, challenges, competition. You're definitely not competing for anyone's attention. See, if someone doesn't give you the attention you want, you'll end it and move on towards another person because you are in that Queen of Pentacles energy. You're marriage material, okay? You're stable, you're practical, you're sensible. You want to be comfortable. There's something you may not be comfortable with with someone, okay? But yeah, you're getting a success for something here. Yeah, see, you're not sacrificing yourself. See, it's an energy. I think you got someone who self-sabotages here too because they fail to recognize. Failing to recognize teamwork, cooperation, creativity, compatibility. See, someone didn't see that. So it does look like 
uh, a person you've moved away from, stopped talking to, or there's no communication at all. It's a person who's sitting on the fence. If you have a choice between two, I do see you kind of protect. If you've got a person who's not uh, communicating, sharing, giving you time, uh, I feel as though there could be some kind of argument or, or obstacles or challenges here. You're refusing to budge. You're not giving in. You know what you want. You're not settling. So that's where I feel like you're at if you have a choice. And I do see sacrifice. You're not sacrificing yourself from someone here. Okay, who doesn't want to build, who doesn't see uh, the things you have in common, the compatibility. It's about acknowledging uh, all that energy. But I think someone is acknowledging something here. I do see an emperor. I'm seeing a wow, okay, an epiphany, <laughs> something very sudden. And I do see that energy of sacrifice. Yeah. You got a person here who sabotaged. It's an energy of self-sabotage, but you are not sacrificing everything you work for for someone if you, it's not going to be successful because you're sensible. Nice, yeah. You, there's an energy. Yeah, you're definitely uh, moving in the other. Oh my gosh, look at that. Yeah, see, yeah. I feel as though you're not sacrificing yourself for someone. You may have sacrificed something before, given a lot to someone, reciprocated and given a lot of yourself. You're no longer doing that. You're focused on your own happiness, emotional fulfillment, house and home. Uh, you're definitely marriage material. <laughs> you want love, but you want reciprocity. So, yeah. So you're no longer sacrificing. See, that's that energy of the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups a lot of times sacrifices a lot they give a lot to someone to show you that they care but when it's not reciprocated uh, someone doesn't give in return you, know, you eventually have to see that it may not be successful because you're it's an energy of no longer investing if there was a third party you're not interested but i feel it's also yourself not putting all your eggs in one basket there's definitely something else going on where you're uh, taking care of you, being very independent. You are very independent, maybe a little unapproachable because of it. <laughs> right? With that energy, I can definitely see that. Um, you got your eye on the prize, though, so that's a very good thing. You want someone on the same page, the same path. Marriage commitment is negotiation contracts. Uh, somebody doesn't even want to negotiate or, you know, it's sort of like you'll just end it. You have someone here who may want everything their way or the highway. They want you to do all the work. They're holding back, protecting themselves, but they want you to be the one to do the work. You're like, no thanks, not interested. Because <laughs> you're focused on something else here. Tell me more about this Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, so you have other opportunities, see? Oh, yeah, so it looks like you've got a couple of King of Pentacles. Oh, yeah, you have an opportunity, a new opportunity. I see a lot of happiness. Uh, this is someone who's ready to sacrifice, okay? It's an energy of giving, reciprocity. So it's not really sacrificing if you have someone who partners up. We have a, we have a power couple here, okay? King and Queen of Pentacles. So look at that. Yeah, you got a person here taking a leap of faith. They may have a little Aries in their chart. There you go. Yeah, you have an emperor. Someone who know you have you have an. It's almost like you got. I'm not going to say two emperors, but two King of Pentacles. Okay, two people who are financially stable. So you're leaving someone behind. You're going off on a new path. But I think it's this person taking a leap of faith. You have an emperor who's ready to take a risk. They're leaving something behind because they're looking and acknowledging something. Oh wow. Oh, wow. This is really nice energy for you, Leo. I see you having some kind of success of something you want, and it's going to lead you towards happiness, emotional fulfillment, marriage, commitment, contract, a house, a home, a business. Oh, this is a beautiful, beautiful energy. Stay, that's how you get staying focused, staying driven, knowing what you want and not giving up. You see, fighting for the things that you want. Someone doesn't want to reciprocate, you're moving on, taking those lessons you learned with you. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you have an opportunity. So I see some kind of communication, a little bird and an opportunity. There's that cup. Uh, see, there's the star. So when I see the star, this is your hopes and dreams. You're fighting for what you want. You're leaving someone behind. I feel as though you got a person. Okay, it's either a choice in love. It could be a lot of things or it could be uh, love, finance, career, everything all in one um, with a similar energy, but it's taking those lessons, knowing when to avoid a disaster. When someone doesn't reach out, they don't reciprocate. See, you're not giving in, you're not budging, 
to someone. You're not giving to them anymore. You've given enough. That's why the Queen of Cups is here. You've sacrificed enough for someone. You're no longer sacrificing yourself uh, to make somebody else happy. Okay? It takes two to build. So there's some kind of success with that. Oh, my goodness. Tell me about this Knight of Rods. Yeah, so there's some kind of good luck. So I'm going to tell you, if you decide to kind of hold back, saving money, protecting yourself, not giving in to someone, see, there's some kind of good omen here. You have some kind of good luck. Things are about to shift in your favor. You're ending a cycle. Now, it could be someone here who's thinking about marriage and commitment, deciding to, you know, it's a person who plays the field, dates a lot of people back and forth. They're not sure what they want or, you know, what's right for them because it's an energy of someone. I do feel like they're, it's about investing, a little bit of fear about investing. Now, see, there's a, some kind of good omen here. So you've got some kind of good luck. There's that air energy. So it's an energy of distancing. Someone is distancing themselves, coming towards you, communicating. But it could be um, ending a cycle. It could be ending a long-distance relationship and moving towards someone. This could be someone closer to home, your neighborhood. But there's a celebration. And I think you're going to get an invitation. As long as this person, the fear is you may not be single, you see. Yeah, see, there's a fan, somebody who really likes you. This is definitely someone who's used to getting a lot of competition. People come in and compete for their attention. But this person's leaving that behind. I feel like it could be you, Leo, leaving that energy behind. But it's also, I do see a very strong Sagittarius and Aries energy here. Tell me about this happy home celebration with the King of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. Slow and steady wins the race. Somebody who's, this is abundance coming towards you. See, this is someone starting to see that. But I feel like you're ending a situation, something on and off at a distance, or they are. So this is someone who's thinking about commitment. See, no longer playing the field and no longer interested in anyone else. Uh, so there's love here. Oh, my gosh. You got something cooking here, Leo. <laughs> Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. So there's some communication, some kind of communication. A little bird, there's a little things. It's about investing, waiting for the right opportunity. So this is someone who's been very much invested in their house, their home, their family, working on their home. Uh, it's more likely a financial foundation. See, they've been invested in that. This is someone who's been holding back. The timing wasn't right. Okay, look at there's love communication there's some kind of communication here Ooh, two hearts <laughs> and then i see the airplane again yeah see air a lot of air energy here a lot of communication this is someone someone is distancing themselves from a long distance situation or there's someone at a distance coming to see you communicating from a distance possibly Tell me more about that three of swords. There we go. Yeah. So there's a lot of wisdom and knowledge. See, someone is seeing. This is about seeing with the owl. Inner wisdom, inner knowledge. There's that seeing. See, someone is looking at you, checking you out, looking to see if you're single. Coming towards you. They're acknowledging something to do with work. So there's definitely a couple of scenarios. Definitely something to do with work. Hard work compatibility acknowledging it someone failed to recognize if you have someone who failed to recognize that you were compatible or that you were uh, very hard working that something could actually work it could be someone coming around i'm not seeing the world but i do see the wheel of fortune a cycle ending and it's an end of this rushing in and rushing out no longer rushing and i feel like that could be partially yourself no longer rushing into anything no longer taking risks until all the cups are on the table you're no longer sacrificing yourself no longer giving to somebody you see oh my there's the judgment a call communication see if somebody someone judged a situation they um, failed to see failed to make a decision failed to recognize the things you had in common see there's that moon look at that there's that little moon right there at the top of that two of swords Things that were hidden, things that were unknown because someone failed to see, failed to make a decision. They failed to recognize uh, how hard you worked, okay? Wow. Yeah, there's the yin and yang. So there's two people coming together to build. This is two people who are different but yet very much the same. Compatibility, cooperation, compromise, things you have in common, acknowledging it. 
This is beautiful energy. This is to do with work, a house, a home, a uh, contract, a negotiation, you know, to do with uh, something you're about to sign. I feel like you're focused on something here, okay, other than your love life. Some of you, anyway. But that's a, this person's going to take a leap of faith. They're going to take a risk. They're very wise, you see. They're seeing. Someone is now seeing. They're having that aha moment. You see, that wisdom and knowledge. There's the sun, so there's something new. Very happy, very positive. So that's that, that fool energy, leaving something behind, taking one last look over the shoulder, taking a risk, getting emotional fulfillment. And someone is now seeing the success. So if you applied for a job and they didn't get back to you and you've been kind of sitting there stuck, saving money, feeling like there's a lot of people competing for a position, um, you know, you're kind of in a rush. It maybe have to do with a house, a home, people competing for a home um, or investing in a home or a job. I feel like whatever it is, you're going to overcome it, okay? Because you're not giving up and you're not budging. You're not giving in to someone. You know, if they don't reciprocate, I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're, you're focused on work, creative pursuits, it looks like. If you haven't been, I feel like that's the direction you're going to go. It's like you're charging off with a lot of, you know, this beautiful energy, taking action, fighting for what you want, trusting your instincts, you see, your intuition, your inner knowing. Uh, there's a little bit of that elephant. See, reminiscing about the past. So it could be just kind of taking a last look over your shoulder, reminiscing about things you've learned in the past, okay? People who don't reach out. So it's about recognizing when someone doesn't reciprocate and they don't reach out and they're at a distance, they're keeping you stuck and single, okay? They're holding on to you and it's keeping you stuck. So it's about acknowledging that for yourself as well. See, this could be some kind of blessing in disguise, some kind of a gift, uh, but I feel things are definitely shifting in your favor. There's that four-leaf clover. There it is right there, Wheel of Fortune. Someone is seeing you as that Wheel of Fortune, you see, with something they'd failed to see and recognize before. You may have applied for a job and feel like you didn't get it. Someone may have overlooked it, and they may be revisiting it. Uh, it's definitely something to do with commitment for some of you, someone coming back around possibly, or it's just an energy of someone who you know, it's kind of stuck, you know, they don't really want to let go of you, they're not so sure, you know, if you feel the same as they do, it could be that simple, sometimes the readings are a lot simpler than they seem, but that wisdom and knowledge, see, it's an energy of someone facing that fear, fear that you weren't compatible, it wouldn't work out, they'd end up being hurt, for most of you, it's someone I feel wants to approach, and their fear is you're not single, <laughs> that you're already in some kind of a relationship, <laughs> yeah, so there we go. We have enjoying the fruits of the labor. You've got some beautiful stuff going on. That's that nine of pentacles, single, enjoying the fruits of your labor. Okay. You're very sensible and practical. You want someone on the same page, similar lifestyle habits. Someone here, it's the way they conduct themselves. They rush in, rush out. You know, they create a lot of chaos and conflict and you're leaving that behind. So there you go. There's the call, the communication, the judgment. Beautiful. Things are about to go in your favor. Very nice energy. Uh, it looks like there's you got financial stuff, job, relocation, uh, something to do with love and choices in love. So let's just look at that one more time before I wrap it up. Yeah, see, there it is, confirmation. Taking the lessons learned, moving away to avoid a disaster. Uh, but it's about take. I feel like you got a person, you've moved away from something or someone else has and they're coming towards you. So someone who wants to get to know you, they want to approach you, not so sure you're going to reciprocate. Now, you're definitely not budging though. You know what you want. If someone wants you, they need to take action. They need to show you that they're going to fight for you, that they really want you. That's what I feel because that Queen of Cups is all about that energy and you are no longer sacrificing yourself. For somebody who doesn't really know what they want, where they rush in and out, in and off. It looks like a situation ship. But I see the abundance, enjoying the fruits of your labors here. Happy home, happy life, uh, commitment, contracts, negotiations going really well. So take care. I see. Wish you the very best, okay? Anything that you feel like you don't know, don't be afraid to question it, okay? Because it has to do with building, two people building, a business. Uh, negotiating, okay, uh, taking a risk. I think it's the other person taking a risk towards you. They're leaving something behind that doesn't work. That's what it feels very strongly. So take care and we'll see you soon.